people get in here before I just start, you know what I'm saying, wait a little bit. Roughly about 30, 45 seconds. So, really not tripping per se. But uh, in the meantime, I hope that y'all had a wonderful day. I hope that y'all accomplished something today. And you learn something new. At least try something different. Because, uh, just to make y'all really understand, man, you are truly something special, but your greatness has to be unlocked. I mean, you're going to go through things and it's going to really show you what you're capable of. <clears throat> but just to really make you understand, like, how special you are. Before you ever live this life, before you ever step foot on this plane, you are virtually, basically a single cell organism. And one of your parents, that was your first life. Excuse me. You were with your parent since their conception. And you lived a life that you can't really understand the fact. And then in the next stage of your life, you were introduced to a whole new world. You were now with the second parent being cultivated. gaining an outer layer because you already had life but it took two both man and woman to make or combine to create the soul so now We have life in the vessel. They come together. But in both those instances, you are living on different planets. You had two different homes before you ever joined this plane. So to understand it, you've already beat the odds and done something that was already meaningful. Should sit into you. It should make you truly understand that you're, you are special. And nobody Nothing could ever take that away from you. You have to understand that you've been through stages in your life that could have went totally opposite because we see it time and time again in this day and age. You could have been one of those children that didn't get to see a day of life. You could have been one of those children that was on the carpet or somebody's sock, tissue, somebody's throat. What I'm saying is you beat the eyes and actually got to see not one stage of life, but three stages of life. Now, since you've pretty much then already got to that, got past that portion of your life, and you're now in the realm of phys physicality, 
you, you, you learn different things. Not all good, but not all bad either. The thing that eludes most people is the confidence to know thyself. Is the true understanding of what somebody, especially what we want, entails. We simply don't believe in ourselves because those around us don't believe in us. It's always problem after problem after problem and never a solution. So in the majority of our minds, we cannot see what makes us special. We can't oftentimes feel that we're special to people. However, we have to really understand it. All of that really means nothing if we're not really doing our part. See, people can't really see how special you are until you go through things. Because when you go through things, Changes typically happen. Things tend to sort themselves out, weed themselves out. People understand what they're good at, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, what they're not so good at. Unless you're not paying attention or not trying at all. So, most people aren't going to see how special they could be or that they are because they're not even willing to try. But they've forgotten that they've already beat two stages of life. You've already done what so many others couldn't. And we'll never ever have the chance to do. You have to truly understand that the perspective of your life could never be minuscule because you came from basically a mustard seed and look at you now. Living, breathing, thinking. You can entertain, you can be entertained. You can create you can theorize. You can do so many things that have already beat so many of your cohorts. You have to understand that life cannot be peaches and creams, just rainbows and always good. Those bad days that you were promised aren't necessarily bad days. They're lessons. They are lessons so that you can understand what you would need to do in the future. Not to be in those situations again. But also, it's going to teach you valuable lessons that you can take and implement in your life that is going to make you a better person all around, not just in certain aspects. Because just about in every lesson that you get in life can be viewed or attached to a situation in your life or together and make perfect sense of why things continue to happen or why they only happen this one time or why they've never happened. The thing is, what you do, what you try, what you allow is going to affect 
everything. It is going to affect everything. Regardless of how you truly feel. If you're not willing to do the necessary work. The wanted rewards or outcomes will never follow. You can literally create and do anything that you want to do as long as you have the real power. You can show your greatness in any aspect you truly put your mind to because your energy will follow and as long as your energy is consistent, it will transform into something that you could only dream to really just comprehend, to imagine. But you first have to be willing to go through things to find your greatness. You have to be willing to take a few losses so that you could win. Because taking minuscule wins and losing is pointless. That's like saying that you won two games in the final. But you got beat four to two. Who cares? You won two games. Cool. You lost the series, though. Cool. You won two playoff games. You didn't win the Super Bowl. Like, you have to understand. You have to be willing to just keep going through it. Until you get to where you want to be. Until you see the result that you want to see. It's not going to be easy. For everybody. Some people. Some things come natural. Some things come easy. Not everything. But maybe what you want comes easier to the next person. But what you can do is what somebody truly desires. You will never know that though. But we will all take the fear of society and we'll run it. We'll create these barricades and barriers for ourselves that seem so high or impossible to break through or break down. We'll we won't even try. We would let the world constantly beat us up and badger us or chastise us and make us believe that we can't do it, but also make us believe that we shouldn't even try. Once you understand that your life excuse me, is solely due to the actions of those that come before you and the actions of you and what you're going to do in the time that you have. So if you don't currently like the position that you're in, you can't really blame your parents. You have to take some, some actual accountability in it. If you didn't show your greatness and done anything to stand up, to make your parents or somebody look at you and say, or if you just put that didn't put that effort in to make someone look at you and say, hey, I believe that you can do this. I, could, I believe that you can do this. I believe you can accomplish this. Is that somebody else's fault? No. Look at yourself and understand that you're capable. It's about what you want to do. Society tells us to try and do things that we don't want to do. And that's what we've been trained to do our whole life. At some point, we have to 
truly just break off from that and say that we're going to do what we want to do because it's going to make us happy. Genuinely. Not because we need something. Because we want it to be this way. I mean... Life is supposed to be enjoyed with minimal damage because we all understand that death is a pain. It is just a part of it. So we would all conclude that those are just the, the days that we would consider bad. Everything else is just a lesson. But why do, does it take us 60, 70, 80 years to understand that no amount of money, no amount of acknowledgement, no amount of fans or glory anybody gives us, it'll never match up to the love that we give ourselves or those around us that we care for and love. Show it. We don't really want to show our greatness because we believe that we're dimming somebody else's light. But we forgot when lights are together, they shine brighter. You could never dim somebody's light. You could only make them shine brighter. That's the stipend of light. But before you can ever make somebody else's light shine brighter, you must first look into yourself and say, I am light. I've escaped two vast darknesses, two different worlds. I done lived on two different planes before I stepped here. And I am capable of anything that I put my will to. I had the grace and the mercy bestowed on me to allow me to exit two different portions of life, two different realms, two different physiologies, two different people that help create me, mold me. You have to truly understand. You've already beat the eye. You think you can't beat anything on this plane too? But you have to make sure this is your energy. You have to make sure that this is your want. Because the reason that you fail more times than not is because you're acting off someone else's whim. You're doing the bid of someone else's just wanting. And you know that you don't want to do that. It sucks. It's not something that you're really trying to indulge in. And I mean, at some point you have to really look in the mirror and say, it's time. I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to take this step. I don't care what I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Whatever makes me happy, whatever makes me feel, feel or feel fulfilled, I'm going to do that. Because at the end of the day, I want to be with my family. I want to be with my children. I want to be with my mother, my father, my grandparents, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles. I want to be around people that I love, enjoy, care for. But I also want all of us to be in good spirits, great, and always uplifting them. Making sure that we're just really genuinely good. Because we understand we're not outshining each other. We're not doing better than each other. We're at different stages in life. And we're enjoying 
We're happy for those around us. We want people to accomplish more. We want those just in general in life to make our lives easier, to make their lives easier, to make their lives better, to make our lives better. And we want to do vice versa. But the problem we're sitting here trying to really just overcome is to really be something greater than ourselves, and that is the collective. A collective that has no fear, that wants to really shoot for the heavens. And understand that we can stand side by side and face, fight anything. Because separated, we are great. Together we are blinding. Blinding. But all it takes is individual, individuals doing the necessary groundwork, background work. And taking the necessary steps. And moving on a journey that is really going to say. I am somebody. I am going to always be somebody. I have always been somebody. And nobody can take that away from me. The only thing I could ever do is get better. I could only get better. And then you have to have the mindset that the only thing you're going to do in life is get better. You can't be worrying about who's supporting, who's not supporting, who's worrying about you, who your word. You need to really be locked in, focused on what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you want to be. You have to understand that your greatness is not going to wait on you. It's it's telling you I'm here, but don't wait too long because, again, life has different factors that will come into play. And yes, it could have been a destiny that you could have had. However, you didn't put the work or do what what was necessary to achieve that or to achieve the necessary skills or monetary uh, fundage or follow. I mean, anything. You have to understand it. You have to keep going. You don't give up because you didn't hit it when somebody else hit it. You didn't hit it when you thought you was going to hit it. Because you got to truly understand it. It might have been a bad day because you didn't hit it when you uh, when you thought you were. But the most high was just putting a little obstacle in your way to see if you could truly handle what was going to be in store in the future. And if there's one little hiccup threw you off, how are you really prepared for greatness? One little hiccup, throw you off for a lifetime or a journey of work. You have to truly understand what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You can't allow people to knock you off your spot because they're not supportive. Or they're, they're trying to chastise you. They're trying to hate. They're trying to BS you. They're trying to do any of that. You ain't got to worry about none of that. It's a lesson. A lesson. Take the game. Take the understanding. Push on. Keep moving along. Do what you need to do to cope. But understand that you are great. You would love for them to support. Because you would love to support them. Don't stop supporting them. Just because they don't support you. Does not mean that you just stop supporting them. Because you don't throw hatred. But you don't tolerate it either. Okay. You have to truly understand that you are great, but you got to fight for your greatness. You got to work every day for your greatness. You have to make sure that your greatness is not being played upon or wasted. Or just telling it, hey, I'll get to you later. I'll get to you later. I know you're going to have days that you say, man, I really don't feel like doing it. I don't care to do it. What I'm not really seeing the results right now, but 
Hey. So I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll do it next. No, 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 no. Fuck fast result. The results you want gonna come on the back end. The back end. The front end always look good when the show is told. But when that back end get dropped off, it's always heavy. It's always heavy. So that, and you see it, short time greatness falls off like that. Self-proclaimed greatness falls off like that. Greatness comes in time. Greatness is when somebody is persistent and not just what being spoken, but also consistent in the actions. What is trying to be formulated, what is trying to be constructed, what is trying to be created, what is trying to be unmasked, what is trying to be done is always going to be followed up on. The journey will never end simply because we, we, we understand that this is a non-ending journey. Greatness doesn't stop when you become great. You have to continue to be great. More often times you have to excel the greatness. Or you have to switch to something else and be great in. Life could never be boring if you're really partaking in everything that it has to offer because you're trying to become an expert in everything. So therefore you're going to indulge in everything numerous of times until you become almost an expert in it. Therefore, when you want to, just show out or do your thing, you can. When it's time to have competition, competition or friendly competition, you're doing your thing. When it's time to overindulge and create something new or just be creative in general, and show the world that, hey, you don't have to do it this way. There's multiple, uh, multiple ways to do it. Or there's a multifaceted ways to do it. Or there's things that you can do this way. Or things that you can do that way. Whatever it is. You can't be scared and you have to be willing to continue regardless of what is going to be thrown your way. Whatever is thrown your way is going to be... Curled at you like, I mean, bean stalks. Not just stones, but I mean bean stalks. And you have to be prepared to understand that these aren't bad things. They're lessons, they're understanding, they're perspectives that I need to be or have so that I can really cultivate an opinion or ideal of the things that life really has to offer or what just comes with it. You have to be prepared to take the onslaught of hate or criticism or just disagreements from those that, again, just disagree with you or don't care for what you're talking about or don't like you in general. None of that is going to stop your greatness. None of that is going to stop their greatness. The thing is, we have to understand that we're not going to stop each other's greatness. If we're going to be great, we're going to be great regardless. So either we're going to shine at each other or we're just knocking each other lights out. Because there's no dimming. Either we're knocking it out or we're shining together. And we have to get to the point where we understand that we can shine. We can shine as individuals. It is okay to shine as individuals, but it's better to shine together. Those that are you, that are around you, those are that are frequent in your presence need to shine with you. So therefore, we're not spreading hate. We're not worried about who's the, who's leading or who's the head. Everybody is eating, so nobody is worried. We're just simply trying to live and enjoy life and what it has to offer to its fullest endeavor or degree. I mean, life has so many has a plethora of endeavors that it can really just display and offer. And we really take it for granted simply because we want to be fearful, spiteful, hateful, judgmental, and not about life. If we truly understand we're just children of, of God, the Most High, then we're moving arm and shoulder, hand in hand, just doing our thing 
and make sure people feel comfortable, loved, respected, and standing in their own. Not needing from anyone because everything was already given and they're willing and they're going to do the work. This is what we need as a society. And this only comes from people that understand that you were born in greatness. Well, you were born. I mean, freaking just almost perfect. You were born just, I mean, you got to understand. Damn near perfection. You are enough. You are special. The only thing that you're really trying to do is display your greatness that was bestowed in, onto you, that was put inside of you to be shown, to be released and given to the world to make it prosper, help it prosper. And we can only do that together. Never separate it. Regardless of what anybody ever believes, you can shine and thrive and have a... a a grip on the world. But are you making it a better place? Because that means somebody is going to want that grip eventually. Then it's going to be a multiple or multiples of people that's going to want that grip. It's going to just continue. It's going to be a snowball effect. Constantly. And then what do we have? We break off in factions. We break off when we could just do this and understand it, hey, do y'all thing. We doing our thing over here. We might, hey, join y'all thing over there just so, you know, some entertainment. Y'all can come join our thing for entertainment. Hey, y'all too. Y'all too. But we can't do that. Because we, st we scared of standing in people's shadows. We scared to say that, oh, we got help from these people. We're scared to say that, Oh, yeah, man, they were our, uh, our boost up. Nigga, didn't you, did you not understand that? That the, that, that, that was the most high, that was your father? Giving you a helping hand? And you shunned it because it was in human form? You, you don't want to stand in the shadow of somebody helping you start something that you are going to be the head of. You're going to run. You're going to do all the real legwork for. But are we, are we, are we serious here? Are we serious? At what point in time are we going to sit back? And really say like, yo, we don't even care no more. We don't care. We're out here doing what's best for us. And that's loving each other. We're not going to worry about standing in light or somebody's shadow. We're going to stand in the light. We are going to simply stand in the light. We're going to stand together. We're going to try and blind any opposition that we have. Because they can't get closer than it, close enough to cut one of us out. So when you truly understand that you're special, you're going to start moving different. You're going to start looking at people different because you look at life different. You're not going to allow mediocre things to set you off and to put you in a bad place because you understand. Life is way too valuable to spread hatred or worry about the next person and how they doing this and how they doing that. If they not doing anything wrong, mind your business. But if they not, then hey, you know what to do. If they doing things far as, you know what I'm saying, Anything to do with, like, kids or, or, or I mean, you know, unliving people and stuff like that. Hey, handle your business. Because what we trying to accomplish is, is, is true love and 
retrospect of our actions of the things that we already know that we shouldn't even partake in, but yet we've been doing it forever. And at this time, we got to let the fear go. We have to let the control of what's been given to us go and say, you know what, hey, we, we, we good. We good. I, I've already been through too much. I, I, I keep learning the same thing, but I've already learned so much in my life. How am I constantly seeing the same thing? But then we have to take the step back and say, well, look, I, I'm tripping over here. I'm doing this BS, or I'm not doing enough. I'm allowing this BS. And then you have to sit there and say, if I, if, if I would have done this, if I would have worked out, if I would have ate enough, if I would have drunk enough water. I mean, there's so many things that you can really look at yourself. If I wasn't hanging with these people, if I wasn't doing what people was telling me to do, and done what I knew was in my best interest, all these things is just self-reflection. It's true understanding of who you are and what you want. You're going to understand that I'm special. I don't need anyone, but I want people around because these are extensions of me. This is my nation, especially when you, when you have your own family, when you have your kids, when you have a mother and a father, and you have grandparents, when you have aunts and uncles, you have cousins, nieces, nephews. When you have all these things, you understand life from a, a different perspective because you understand that this is your nation. These are people that you are supposed to be able to call on in sickness. When you're good, when you're financially in trouble, when you're up, when you found the love of your life. I mean, any situation that you would ever need, any, these are the people that should want to be there for you that you should want to be there for because the, you're always stronger together everything every time y'all get together y'all make each other more special y'all make each other feel like you can do anything because you're stronger with your bondage your lineage your blood Everything that ties you together is amplified because it is genuine. It is it is not being malicized by nobody's hidden intent. So everybody is really showing love. Everybody is really enjoying each other's company. We can actually go to clubs and events and really partake and just enjoy ourselves. We are trying to really make people understand how special they are because the things that they've already been through in life has been enough. Enough. You went from one parent as a sperm to be cultivated with an egg to your next parent. It is two separate different worlds to now be on a third plan for you. Learning all new aspects of life. Doing all different things. But in majority of cases, you're scared because the things that you've been taught, you can't comprehend that you've already beat so much. You can't comprehend that you've already learned majority of everything that you need to learn. You're just not acting on your own accord anymore. You're acting on outside sources. You don't understand what you really want to do because you're not listening to yourself. You're listening to everybody else that wants you to do what they truly want to do. What they truly want to try. It doesn't matter about another person's life unless you're trying to uplift them. Unless you're trying to make them understand it Whatever you've been through in life is okay. 
You have you shouldn't have a quarrel with. Because we're all on the same playing field. We're all trying to engage in the same things. We all want the journey of life to be enjoyable. We want to be the standout, but the stand in that can be around any one of our people or a stranger and feel the same kind of love. We want to be able to show every experience that we've ever had simply by the peace we bring to people, the understanding that people can really comprehend and know that, yes, my brother has been through something. My sister has been through something. Love has been through something. My G has been through something. People go through life constantly getting tore down, but not understanding that you're capable, able, as long as you're willing, nothing can stop you, nothing. Everybody's special. The problem is though, everybody doesn't want to show it. Everybody doesn't really want to think for themselves. They like to follow. And there are so many great people that follow because to be a great leader is to understand that you're going to need delegates. There are going to be people that, are, that do things way better than yourself. And any boss would understand that you are going to have very special people around. You're not going to be the only special person. Because at the end of it, you know that everybody has something special in it. But will everybody reach deep down inside them and want to show it? No. No. Because the fear that life has pretty much given people, it supersedes everything that beats in their chest. Trying is worse than, than death itself. Simply trying is worse than death because you have to live with everything that comes with it. Most people don't want to live with everything that comes with it. But it's okay. I'm not telling you to, to worry about what comes with it. I'm telling you to make yourself happy because if you're really doing it for yourself, if you're really doing it for you, what somebody says is not going to affect you. It's never going to affect you. And, and again, winners will always win. Why? Because they don't have to try and stand up. They just simply do. They do what they're good at. They do what, what people gravitate them, gravitate them towards them to do. And that's to make them laugh, make them feel good. To help them find a, a, a just a better mindset. I mean, there are so many special people that can make you feel good in so many different ways. Like artists, people that can draw or paint can make you feel good because they can see angles and, and you in a perspective that you could never see yourself. That can brighten your day to a degree that you will be so, you'll be dumbfounded. Just off of a picture. A picture. But then, somebody could cook for you. And this could make you feel like you were a kid again. Somebody could sing to you. And this could make you feel like you could sleep anywhere. Somebody could give you a massage. And, I mean, really make you feel like... Your body healed itself. I mean, somebody can catch a football and you will believe they could never drop it. You'll see somebody shooting a ball that you believe never could miss. I mean, you can see people jump, skip, laugh. And these things can make you feel all type of ways because this is what they were made to do. But they don't know it and you don't know it because 
we're so worried about what people are going to say me too my brother believe me me too people get so messed up with people going to say or how they're going to perceive what they believe their special talent or their greatness is so they, 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 they never show it to the world. But people have to understand that we are in a degree nothing but frequency. And we know frequency heals. We know that energy can be passed. So I, it wouldn't be crazy to say if somebody was laughing and you were feeling down or sickly or, I mean, anything. But this vibration alone was the cure to your vibration. Your frequency. Why wouldn't you want to hear them laugh? As soon as they laughed, your body reacted to it. It enjoyed it. It, it, it screamed it wanted more. But your mind and everything that you've been taught told you not to even care about that because it was to you a dumb laugh or just the people you around a weird or a dumb laugh. But yet this weird or dumb laugh is what just gave you the best feeling in the world. This made you feel like you never felt before. That's, that's life. That's the beauty that it has to offer. Because it's the mysteries of us being really connected and understanding that as long as we don't have fear, the connection is going to grow. It's going to be strong. And all we would ever need is each other. But we, we're so worried about pushing hatred. We're so worried about pushing fear that we don't understand it. The right singer can put you back in line by just the melody, the love that she puts in a song, the, the heart he puts in a song can make you feel superb, feel like you can achieve, can love, can breathe life, can, I mean can do anything, anything. A group of people or the people you're around say, oh man, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. This is weird. This is dumb. To who? It, it, it made you feel a certain way, but your, your first thought was to say this is dumb. This is crazy. Let's, let's take a step back. Let's, let's really take a step back. We... We got to do things a lot differently. We have to make each other understand that I need your light to shine so that my light shines brighter. Your light shines brighter. The next person that steps closer to us, their light shines brighter. So therefore, we can blind anything that ever tries to oppose us. Because whatever you do great can help the world. It could help me. It could help somebody that you know. It could help anything. The problem is nobody wants to show it because people are so scared to be weird. People are so scared to indulge in themselves, to truly understand, like, what makes me happy? What makes me tick? What makes me thrive? What makes me want to go the extra mile to really ensure that things go as they should? Be? And if something was to ever go haywire, I'm ready for it. I'm prepared to do or act according. We have to make people understand that they're love regardless. And everything that you've been through is cool. It's just time to overstep it. It is time to not put it in the closet, not throw it away, not forget it, but to understand it. And understand it, 
Now it's time to really give the world the best that you got. Because the world needs it more than ever. People, you and I need it more than ever. Regardless of us sit back saying that, oh yeah, we good, we fine, we not. Because we all want our people, our families, our loved ones, even our oppositions to be in better positions so that we don't even have to face half the shit that we facing. We really want people to be doing what makes them happy, to be with who they want to be with, to do what makes them thrive. The crazy portion or part about any of this is that we would all get in the public I or in society and then simply do act and say the total fucking opposite what point are we really going to stand on business and stand for the love that we really have and should have for one another that the degree says that we will have dominion over the earth and not destroy it and not destroy one of each other because at this point, we're doing more harm than any oppressor or anything else because we're doing what they want us to do. We're taking our brothers, our sisters, and even those that are trying to help us, and we're saying, hey, man, we ain't worried about what the fuck y'all are doing. We ain't worried about the help. We don't care if y'all trying to thrive. We don't care if you want to do better. We don't even care if you're in a shitty position. Stay there. Why? And we all supposed to be better than this. We all supposed to want better than this. We are all supposed to be children of God that says that, hey, my brother is just as special as I am. My sister is just as special as I am. And we're not going to worry about the title. We're going to show the grace and the gratitude to the father and our mother. We're going to understand that we're connected and bound regardless of anything. The only thing that we ever need to do is to keep pushing and making us grow. Every seed that is planted needs water. It needs to be loved. It needs to be nurtured. It needs real life to have longevity. It needs to have backing. It needs to have somebody that is willing to keep Coming back every day and showing that it cares. Man, that's. I hate that a lot of people grow up without a father. Because my father, my father, brother, listen to me. I hate that you didn't have a father, and I hate that so many didn't have a father. Because my father was a great father. A great father. Marty Rydell is a great father to this day. I will always tip my hat to that man. And I will always tip my hat to my mother. Mother's a wonderful woman. I mean, it is... It, it is a... It is definitely a good feeling. And believe me, my heart goes out to you, my brother did. Because I, I, I wish people would have a, a father that's half as good as mine, if not just better than mine. Because having a man in your life is, 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 is a different thing. It is a diff like, when people say that a father's love is, is not the same as a mother's, Let's me know that they never really been loved by a man before. Because as a man, I know I needed that love. I needed it. Because without it, I can see the harbor hatred for my brother and my sisters. Like if, if most people understood like my life and the stuff that I go through with one of my children's mother, then they would understand. I I love my children. Love to be around all my children. And 
and not being around one of them, it, it hurts. It hurts because having a father that regardless of anything was going to make sure that he was around, but also having a mother that never, never, like, kept the children away from our, our pops. So, it's a different dynamic of handling that and coming from that. So, I see yours from a different perspective. And that's why I say I, I like it. My heart goes out to all people that didn't grow up without a father. Like it's a, it's a true, it's, it's a true damn fucking tragedy because a man's love, a father's love is is different, and they all people should have. It. It, it's a lot stern, but all people should have. It. Well, I wouldn't consider you that, my boy. To say you have a loving mother there had some rough time. Just had some rough time. That's it. And the mistaken father. The person that really didn't understand the, 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 the aspect of life and what comes with it, especially when given. But you, you're not a bastard. I don't care. Not having a father or not, or not being married, none of that. And we don't do that. He's a, he's a, he's a human being, my boy. He's a man. He's a, he's a, a person out here simply trying to go and grow through life. Now that right, that portion right there would be a very hard thing to to deal with, and I hate that you had to go through that. Did you ever go get like any? Uh, did you go to therapy, get some help behind it? And how is your uh, brother and your sister? And how are they coping with everything? No child should be a punching bag for no, for nobody, 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 nobody. Things like that really uh, do something to me. Damn. They needed an outlet. You found an outlet in working hard, and they found an outlet in something else. And, uh, I mean, I would definitely say it's hard to talk to most people. Most people can't really... They can't really just empathize with, with just life until it is something close to home or something happened to them. It's simply just a, a selfish world, a selfish society that we pretty much allow to cultivate. But I wish your brother and sister would have found another way to cope. I wish it, none of it would have happened to you. But I wish they would have found different ways to cope. I wish they could have found a similar way to cope like you did. And uh, found success in work and just get to it. Head down and just keep going. Most people do pretend that they have it. Every day. They, they do things that they pretty much just hate. They do it to, to do it, get by. Or they do so much to keep their mind off the things that they've done. Or 
the things that transpired in their life. And people have to really understand that you could you could blow up on them. Just holding everything in. So I'm not saying that you have to talk to somebody, but make sure that you're most definitely talking to the most high. You have to make sure that you're talking to whomever your God is and make sure that you're always giving him your problem because he's going to give you nothing but solutions. He's not going to give you problems back. He's going to give you nothing but solutions. But yes, most people genuinely go day to day not happy. You can take being real. You just want genuine love. You, you don't want to, you don't want to accept it simply because you understand that it's, it's a job. You're looking at it from per, a perspective of personal when this is a business aspect and you have to understand that of course people aren't going to always truly love you in business however there are going to be something to do so the ones that do you accept the ones that you kind of are standoffish about or really can understand that it, it it could be a, a agenda there, then you have every right to 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 not even worry about the love. I mean, you can you can accept it at a distance, but understand that it might come with something later. However, there's going to be be people that genuinely love you, genuinely love your uh, stand up routine, or just love your work in general. Those are things that you just have to accept. Those are things that you have to just understand that you've earned. There's nothing wrong with it. And with just about any aspect of life, it's going to come with some, some fake love, with an agenda. But your only job is to make sure your portion is genuine. To make sure everything that you're doing is on the ultimate because when you start trying to worry and do things for other people and just for so it, it, it affects you in a personal or a good way, it's always going to turn out negative. Every time. So the best thing to, to do is accept, the, accept all the love that you get. But really decipher what's genuine and what's not so that you're not you're not doing anything foolish you're not putting yourself in a, a predicament that you don't want to be in it it's better to be to be wanted. If if somebody needs you, need you, one day they're gonna come across somebody that they want. Then what happens? What happens when somebody comes across something that they want? We know what happens. More often times than not. It's usually going to get tried. When people need anything, they're willing to do anything. So if, you, if, it's, if it's not a true want, there is no reason to even indulge in it. There is no reason to worry about any of it because it's going to end abruptly and probably crazy i mean if you needed some money 
and you dealing with a woman just because you needed some money, she's not gonna she's not gonna keep fucking with you. It's simple. She's not gonna deal with you for too long. Simple. If you need some place to uh, stay, she not dealing with you too long. You need her. It's it's not a want. You need her. If if she came to you, she all she know about you. You got bread. All you know about her is she get put out everywhere she stay. She knows she can get you. She don't want you. She knows she can get you. You finna pay these bills. Simple. Simple. If it's not a woman. Don't try. Let that shit go. Because if they need you, they going to use you. If they need you, they going to use you. And that's that's just a fact. Everything that you've ever needed in life, you use. Oh, I need this mop. What you need a mop for? So I can mop the floor. Of course. You've seen people say, oh, man, I want these pair of J's. What you going to do? Walking? No, I just want to put them on the wall. You just want to put them on the wall? I don't want to get them made up. I'm, I'm just going to put them on the wall. Car collectors. You bought a million-dollar car. What for? Not because you needed it. He wanted it. He, he wanted it to sit in his car collection and appreciate it. So he took care of it. He made sure that every accommodation was taken to ensure that that car would appreciate. Not depreciate, appreciate. So if I'm going to deal with somebody, I'm going to ensure that I want them, that I want to be with them, that I want to wipe their butt one day, that I want them to take care of my kids, that I want them to sit on the porch with that's all these are wants. They not necessities. They wants. They are wants. But see, that's the thing. You can't, you can't control people. People are gonna do whatever they want to do. They gonna do whatever they want to do. The best thing you could ever do. Don't ever try and control nobody. The best thing that you could ever do is let people understand how you come, what you're going to do, what you're going to allow, and that's it. That's it. You don't never tell people. Oh, you gonna do this. You gonna never. Ever. You 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 gotta let people do what they wanna do. Cause at the end of the day, if you ever feel like you need to control somebody, they gonna do what they wanna do. So everything as far as relationships and, and marriage and anything like that, make sure that it's what you wanna do. Not coercion, not being forced or just because you need something out of somebody. Do it because you genuinely want to do it. And on just another topic, just in general, like, people have to understand, like, relationships and marriage is virtually the same damn thing. It is the same thing. You're choosing who you want to be with. It is not like you're signing your life away. You're choosing who you want to be with. And I don't know nobody 
in reality that is choosing people just to be with them for a couple months, a couple years, call it quits? No. In my mind, in my mind, if I'm choosing to deal with you, I'm cho choosing to deal with you for a lifetime. I'm not trying to, to half-ass anything. I'm trying to bash, not bullshit. I'm trying to do what is going to make us all happy. Not just me. You and I. We're going to do... At least I'm trying to do everything until death do us part. Understandable. But you have to understand. I'm a person that, 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 that comes differently my life is a little different where most people are now trying to explore understanding of but you don't lie to people about who you are and what you do you don't lie to people about what you want to do like me i'm a man that believes that men can have multiple women but not lying about it I don't believe that you can have multiple women and lie about it. That is stupid. That is not man-like. That is not human-like. We are really talking about... We're talking about really living a life that you can understand and be proud of. And that if you do have a partner, will accept. I mean, I, I, I could agree with the statement. However, there are some good men. I mean, there are some good men that didn't grow up with a father. I mean, you seem like one yourself. And I believe it, it's just all about the upbringing. It's just having a father in your life or a male figure is going to do you wonders. It is going to allow you to see things from a different perspective that ultimately is going to help you in life. It is going to allow you to see and do things that those that don't have it typically won't do until later in life. And sometimes, and just being on the opposite side of this and not really knowing the situation, is to say that I, I'm going through a situation where I'm not able or just wanted to see one of my daughters. So, I know that there's men out there that are being kept away from their child. And I can't really speak on them or those type of situations because I don't know those situations because I have a situation like this. And I've never bad uh, speak of uh, her mother or anything like that. I just understand that it's not always clear, cut, and dry about situations like that. Both. To become a man, I believe that you need a mother and a father, or at least a male figure or a, a woman figure that can steer you in the right direction, the direction that you need to. And you're always going to do better with both. Always, regardless of what anybody says, oh, just the father is better or just the mother is better. You're always going to do better with both. But you're going to do even better if you got a village, meaning that you got grandparents, you have aunts and uncles, you have mothers and fathers, you have siblings. Because, I mean, you have all these things that you can learn from. 
all these people, all these different listens, all these different personalities and perspectives. I believe the village is the most important thing. Mothers and fathers are important, but the village is by far the greatest uh, thing that that matters. Then I would say, I mean, it, like I say, it's, it's it's either. I can't say it just be a father because if you got a good father and a good mother, they do the exact same thing. And I mean the exact same. They that good. You can pretty much get the same result. The only difference is when it really comes to the mother and father argument is the mother is pretty, pretty much more lackadaisical when it comes to just consequences. Actually putting kids in trouble or just acting accordingly in the times of problems, just situations. More often times they're going to over exaggerate the uh, the issue or they're going to tolerate it too long so therefore it's going to be suspended but then therefore a man could also put himself in a or put him in his son or daughter in a predicament that could be more detriment because most men are going to work longer and if they're going to work longer in different hours, especially if you're working a factory job and get on a grave or swing shift, you could open that time up to, to, to allowing kids to do things that they're not ready for. And the same thing with a mama book, a mother book, a mother is typically going to be there. She might not be present, but she's typically going to be there. So the, the influence that she sets by default is not always the best, but again, you could say that about a bad father. So it's, it's just typically on the human that is raising that child. If they really want to raise that child, they're going to raise that child to the best of their ability. But then at the end of that, like I say, those children also have to understand that everybody has a life to live. And we don't know the full severity or understanding behind situations until we ask. And more often times, we don't ask. So we, we, we harbor hatred and or just this feeling of we were done wrong and never truly knew or know what what took place. So it's it's typically if you're gonna be a good parent, you're gonna be a good parent. If you're not, you're gonna suck. Exactly. Because the people that you encountered was your village. Whether you know it or not, the people that you encountered were the people that really helped you understand what was going on in life. But the situations that you went through, it just made you yearn for what you really desire. So your want had to manifest. And the only thing that you're really trying to do right now. Is to maintain that, that peace. That you. That you have now. And. Like I said. The village. Matters just about more than the parents do. In society. Because you're going to be around these people a lot.
So these influences are going to have to stand in. They're going to have to constantly figure out how they can warp or just give insight or just change the mentality or alter it in some form or fashion. That's society. And when you have society doing it and yet your parents doing it a different way, more often times kids go into society because it's more of them. So if you have a village that is all on the same page, then everything that the mother and father do is just amplified, it's instilled. Because the village is going to incorporate all of this and add to it to progress the understanding, but also make sure that they're going in the right direction, not just going in a direction or just doing things. So, I believe as long I believe you had a good village because I had a good village and people that really just come in contact with good people tend to be just great people I mean it's just from my understanding anyway as long as you really were around and got to to know and really want like peace You'll have it. It'll always find you. Even when torment or, or chaos seems to always be around the corner, peace seems to find you. And that's a fact. Me too, my brother. Like, I can't really listen to a lot of, I guess you could say, craziness. I just try and gain as much or listen to as much knowledge or wisdom that I can and just keep going and try and figure out if I can expand on it or if anybody's expanded on it or if it's does it have more to offer because that's the only way we're going to constantly keep growing and, and, and going in the way that we need to oh man it's about that time, and I've been on here in about 83 minutes. And we are on the same path, my brother. And at this point, it seems like we're just going to keep running it together. And I do not mind because I love to have people on the journey with me. As long as we are growing together and understanding that we're going to stand side by side and we're not worried about leading and following, we're good. But, man... I hope you have a great night, and whoever just joined again or just joined, I hope you have a wonderful night, man. I've been on here about 83 minutes, and it's time for me to lay down. It's time for me to go lay down with the with baby, go check on the kids, and prepare to go to work in the morning. That's just the life of a regular man or just anybody at this point. But I hope y'all... Have a wonderful night. I hope y'all have blessed and wonderful dreams. I hope that you wake up tomorrow and be prepared to, I mean, really accomplish anything that you set your mind to. But really set, to, you set your mind to it, want to do it, and just act. Until next time, peace.